very much. A special prosecutor has been appointed to investigate the case of Jackie Wilson, a man who was exonerated after spending 36 years in prison. That investigation will delve into whether a Cook County prosecutor lied on the stand. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live in the newsroom with more on that story. Jenna. Micah and Taman, Jackie Wilson's attorneys say this is the next step in his long journey for justice. I just think this is a really a historic moment in uh, the history of, of Cook County. A special prosecutor appointed today will investigate how the state's attorney's office handled the case of Jackie Wilson, a man who spent nearly four decades in prison for the deaths of two police officers, murders for which he has since been cleared. The focus turns now to what Wilson's attorney calls corruption among the people who put him behind bars. Between a, you know, a nefarious relationship between a Cook County state's attorney and an international fugitive to torture by uh, Chicago police officers in the presence of Cook County state's attorneys. It's a, a tragic 36-year saga that ripped Jackie Wilson's life away from him. Wilson was in his third trial last October when a county prosecutor testified he had a relationship with the jail informant who helped convict Wilson back in 1989. The judge who ordered the special prosecutor said there's sufficient evidence that attorney committed perjury and others in the state's attorney's office may have covered for him. The special prosecutor now assigned to examine their actions is former federal prosecutor Lawrence Oliver, who also served as chief counsel of investigations for Boeing, according to his LinkedIn biography. Oliver will have the power to convene a grand jury and bring charges if he sees fit. For somebody uh, to finally be looking into whether prosecutors should be held criminally accountable, not just civilly, but criminally accountable, should they be charged and potentially convicted for framing an innocent person. Um, that's historic. This is the second special prosecutor appointed to investigate Kim Fox's office in about two years. The last one found abuses of discretion in the Jussie Smollett case. Today, Fox's office said in a statement, the state's attorney is committed to transparency and accountability in this and all matters, and the office will fully cooperate with the review of this case. Wilson's attorneys also filed a civil lawsuit last month. They tell us they're sharing that evidence with the special prosecutor. Taman and Micah. Jenna, thank you. New at five.